Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Uh, as you can see, I put my Ricoh Cita Z1 on the left side of myself and I have a MacBook Pro in front of me. Many of you have asked how to delete the files, both the JPEG or the DNG on the Mac OS. And today I would like to show you how to delete the files on the Mac OS. And I have found a perfect solution. And especially it's worked very well on two fisheye plugins. So let's get started. And now let's put the, I have already put the CTZ1 power on and use a Type-C cable to connect to your MacBook Pro. And after that, uh, I suggest you choose this app in this, uh, in this, in this folder, others and choose the image capture. That is a very good software. I recommend to uh, edit or copy and paste or delete the files uh, of the Ricoh Cita Z1. Uh, open the image capture. And on the device menu, you can see this app has already recognized the Ricoh Cita Z1. And it will automatically recognize all the files inside this Ricoh Cita Z1. As you can see, I have you, uh, used the Cita Z1 to capture uh, some of the dual fisheye plugins. As you can see that the 16-bit HDR DNG does not have a preview image. So uh, if you want to delete that, you don't know which one should you choose. But in the imaging capture software, you can sort as a file name. So that every 16-bit uh, HDR DNG files has uh, official DNG together with, with them. So if you want to delete the files, you can uh, select all of them and right click. You can import import to your uh, desktop and other folders, and also you can delete the files. And after you click on delete, you cannot undo this action, and the files will be deleted from the CD one, and you will not get them back. So be careful when you delete some files on the CD one. And you can sort with um, names, uh, with kind, with date. And anything, so it's it works the best. And some of you have uh, have told me that you can use the this fo this uh, this app, the Photos app to copy and paste, and and it's it's also working because uh, it will it will works really well on the official software because uh, the the JPEG and the official DNG files they are all visible in this folder, but the HDR DNG file the does not have a preview image, so you don't know what you are select have selected, and you also don't know which one uh, did you selected. So I, I do not recommend this way. But if you you only use the official software with the JPEG with the official DNG, you can also use the photo app to manage to import and delete the files. So how to delete files with the photo app? You can just uh, select and click on the Delete items after import. So after all the files import to your galleries, and the photo app will automatically delete all the files you have selected. That is also a workaround for your CTZ1. But in my opinion, the best way to work around with the CTZ1, especially for the, the third-party plugins, such as the dual fisheye plugins, I highly recommend you use the image capture app. And now I am on the Mac OS Catalina. So I think uh, everything that works on my MacBook will also work on yours. And that is how you uh, manage the files, how to delete the files on the Mac OS with the Ricoh Cita Z1. Uh, I hope this uh, video helps, and I hope it will work for you. If you like my channel, please sum up, subscribe, and hit notification bell. I would like to share more of my knowledge, uh, tips and tricks on the 360 photography in the future with you guys. So that's all for this video. Thanks guys. Bye.